Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for watching my videos and supporting the stylish grease monkey. I hope all is well. Today, let's talk about footwear with a different type of shorts that you wear all year long. Hey guys, come check out my other video about the different and current styles of shorts that you can wear today. I'm cranking out some useful videos about style and manscaping lately and I really appreciate the support. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. This channel is going to grow fast, especially when I complete my transition from military life to civilian life and get back to my passion of building from my garage. I want you in that adventure with me, guys. So spread the word, okay? So it is summer again, and I know we're going to be out there rocking some pretty nice outfits with shorts in mind. As I look around now, there are so many guys that are ruining their outfits with the wrong footwear, guys. Remember that if you want to leave an impression with the ladies, you gotta take care of your footwear. I know that most ladies pay attention to this and make judgment based on your taste. Here are the top footwear that you should be using with your summer outfit, especially shorts in the summer of 2020. First, I wanna get this out of the way since it is probably the most common mistake men make out there. Hey guys, I've said it before. You know, Keep your running shoes strictly for running or exercising, guys. It does the same thing. It goes the same thing for hiking shoes as well. Those things get dirty and stinky and that it is the last thing you want when you want to be presentable. Instead, if you think that you want to stick with the sneakers, invest in an all-white sneakers that's clean and crisp. I have owned this Purcell and have had it for years, and it comes in very handy whenever I feel like wearing sneakers with my outfit. This thing will always going to be a classic, guys, so invest in one because it is fairly cheap. Also, if you want another classic white tennis shoes in leather, then the Stan Smiths from Adidas is another choice. You can wear white shoes with all types of shorts and chinos for the hot weather and look fresh, but prevents you from looking too young or trying to look young anyway. There are also other leather tennis shoes out there, other options, different colors, that looks nice, but for the classic look, you can't go wrong with an all white, crisp, clean, low profile tennis shoes. Second, guys, venture out and be exciting a little bit by trying the different driving moccasins out there. You know, these things are awesome when it comes to its flexibility with outfits. Shorts, pants, chinos. I've even seen these things worn with a light summer suit. It doesn't have to be very, uh, it doesn't have to be super expensive, guys. You know, I bought this one right here in particular from uh, Ross Department Store about six years ago, and it's made by Calvin Klein, and I've had so many uses out of it already. You can also check out some of the ones from Robert Wayne, because they make some of the really comfortable moccasins out there that you can wear all day long. Do a little bit of research on these things, guys. Make sure that they are real leather and that it will last you a long time. Third, if you are into formal outfits, then you can't go wrong with the different styles of slip-ons like the loafers. You know guys, I love the flexibility of the loafers. You can really take your outfit to another level with these things. A tip here is to make sure that you buy loafers that fit you well, guys. I like it a little snug so that it doesn't come off from my heels as you wear them. Just remember that these things stretch a little bit and start to form to your feet so you want to give give it some time and a little bit of space for it to stretch to your feet. I know that the trend lately is to wear socks, but I personally have never worn socks with my loafers. I don't have sweaty feet, and if you do, then I suggest definitely wear socks. But also take socks into consideration when you're forming the shoes to your feet. Don't expect it to fit tight whenever you decide to go sockless down the road after you wear socks on these things. Fourth, guys, we can't forget about the classic boat shoes. These things have been a staple of man for decades when it comes to the classic shoes and polo shirt look. Boat shoes are tough, durable, and will always be a classic. I've owned this type of boat shoes from Spare Top Siders for over 10 years now and I never skipped the summer without wearing my boat shoes. It is super comfortable and recognized all throughout the world. 
This is like the retro Michael Jordans of slip-ons. I love these things. Fifth, if you want to be super casual but comfortable and stylish, you can't go wrong with what they call espadrilles. Hey guys, I didn't even know what that was called until I researched it for this video, but I've owned a pair of Toms for some time now and wear it every day on my quick in and out trip from the store or somewhere outside my house. I brought a pair some time ago because I know that the company had sent proceeds towards eliminating hunger. I'm all for that. So it just happens that these things are super versatile. Guys, the last one are a staple in Hawaii and comes in different variations and styles. Depending on where you're from, these things are called many names like the flip-flops or sandals, but in Hawaii, it's referred to as the slippers. All right, guys, if you see my other videos, I'm not really a strong proponent of wearing this, these things because it is super casual. I think it should only be worn on very special occasions like the beach, the pool, or at the boardwalk. Another issue I have with slippers is that there are many men that just don't look down there once in a while and care for their feet and nails. Hey guys, no one wants to see jacked up feet, okay? The other footwear I didn't mention here that I wear with shorts are Brogues, Desert Shoes, and a Converse All-Stars. I personally don't wear them as much as I do the other ones. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to hear your comments and recommendations, so please write in the description below. As always, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so, and thank you for your support. Help me grow this channel because there are a lot of exciting things happening in the future. And then, of course, I want to continue to make quality videos for you. I'll talk to you soon.